Due to the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, where SpaceX is launching a batch of communication satellites on its used Falcon 9 rocket. A total of 10 satellites will be launched into space today. So today's mission is the fifth of eight SpaceX flights for a company called Iridium Communications. The goal ultimately is to launch 75 satellites by mid-2018. Today's launch was supposed to happen yesterday, but you know, there was a bit of a technical glitch and it delayed it a little bit. But uh, it's uh, just about now a minute to go uh, before the launch. Is ready for launch. Let's listen in. Falcon 9 and startup. Ground side gas closeouts complete. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. This is the LD on countdown one. We are go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. Propellant tanks, pressure flight. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. successful liftoff of the Falcon 9, uh, as you saw. Uh, it's pitching downrange at the moment uh, to continue its ascent into orbit. Uh, going supersonic right about now. And it'll be uh, going through max Q shortly. Vehicle is supersonic. So we're decreasing the engine thrust to minimize the pressures of max Q, which is the point at which the rocket is pushing hardest against the atmosphere vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And now that we're through that milestone, we'll be increasing the thrust of the engines uh, in order to uh, get to orbit. Uh, but while the atmosphere is still relatively thick, uh, we can prevent it from exerting too much pressure on the fairing by, by throttling the engines a little bit. So, uh, chilling the Merlin vacuum engine. Head back engine chill has begun. And that call out means that we're bringing the engines down to the correct temperatures in order to prevent the liquid oxygen from uh, turning into a gas in the second stage as well. Uh, coming up shortly, we have a, a few events in quick succession. Uh, the first stage main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will begin its first burn. Recognition. And there you saw it. The first stage main engines cut off, the two stages separated, and the second stage began its uh, burn. Um, you can actually see, see the first stage uh, falling away behind the, the second stage for some of these shots. Uh, that's gorgeous. 
Uh, the first stage uh, will be performing a one engine boost back burn and continuing downrange for a simulated landing. And you just saw the second stage trajectory nominal. I uh, just saw the two halves of the fairing fall away. Good, good from deploy. Uh, we will be attempting a recovery of one of the halves of the fairing today on our uh, fairing recovery ship, Mr. Steven, uh, as part of an experimental program to reuse those parts of the vehicle. Just past T plus four minutes, Merlin vacuum engine is performing nominally, glowing red hot there in the vacuum of space. A quick reminder, we will be uh, intentionally ending live coverage uh, or live video coverage of today's mission due to uh, restrictions placed on us by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. So uh, don't be surprised when that, uh, that occurs at about T plus nine minutes. Uh, we will be continuing to cover the mission on Twitter uh, all the way through the second burn and deployment of the satellites. All right, so we've just been uh, watching the latest launch of the Falcon 9 rocket from uh, SpaceX on board 10 satellites for a communications uh, company. So this is the fifth launch for this communications company, and they keep bringing more and more satellites up. When this constellation of satellites is finished, um, the satellites will essentially cover the globe. Um, so 10 now, there'll be three more launches. There's five, there's eight launches in total, and it looks like the SpaceX, la SpaceX launch was a success. Another sort of interesting note, they mentioned that they're going to attempt to recover the fairing uh, with, a, with a boat. The fairing is a portion of the nose cone there. So this is something that they don't always try to recover, but they're kind of uh, conducting a bit of an experiment here to see if they can save that portion of the rocket um, as it tumbles toward Earth, presumably landing somewhere um, in the ocean. So there you have it. How interesting is that? I think so. I was mesmerized. So uh, we are also.